once again. This is Bruce Muffs and LCSW from Sunridge of Nevada coming out with another download from Mac Miller's last album, unfortunately, as always, Swimming. And the name of the last song is called So It Goes. Just want to say before I begin, uh, this is the 13th and last song of the album. I just want to talk about this for a minute. I've listened to each song on this album probably dozens of times. I probably spent, if I'm looking at our time, probably 10, 15 hours, 20 hours, and writing my notes and doing my clinical analysis, blah, blah, blah. What I wanted to do is to try and get my own limited understanding of his music. And as a result of doing so, my respect for him and others like him who have shared their thoughts via the music that they do has only grown. We've had comments, not from Mac Miller, but from about another artist that we were, you know, you abusing the fact that they were admitting they were having issues with, you know, self-control issues, drug and alcohol issues, mental health issues. And God forbid that people should take it from that context. That's the furthest from the truth. It's his willingness, Mac Miller's and other artists, that a, a, a Kendrick, a, a, a Kid Cudi, that have opened up about their own struggles, that, that have shared themselves with you and myself, which is the public, that make Mac Miller such a compelling figure, as well as everyone else that we've covered. To me, he was just basically saying goodbye the best way that he knew, which was through his music. Just the way he used the line from Kurt Vonnegut's novel, Slaughterhouse-Five, where he says, So It Goes, the name of the song, which is where Vonnegut uses phrase every time someone dies. And it just one of the comments we got was from a Jason Wicks I just wrote from. He said, this album was a suicide note. Very insightful and very, very clear and very intelligent. There are a few lines I want to really hone in on from the song. And it goes, you could have the world in the palm of your hand, you still might drop it. Wow, beautiful. Because you know something? You never know about life. Life can and many times is exhausting. You know, there's an expression in Yiddish. It says that man plans and God laughs. And the older I get, the more truth I see in that. We think we know, we think we know, we think we know, but we don't know. Life can be exhausting, and for Mac, it had to be one whirlwind of one fatigue moment after the other. With everyone wanting a piece of him, not sure of who he was, it gets surreal up in the lights. He has a line right after it goes, and everybody want to reach inside your pockets. Ugh, ugh, I know that feeling. Okay, we've gone back to that. Who is really your friend? And when you find a friend that's worth it, You hold on to that friend for dear life because that friend is a lifeline. We talked about this before in other videos. One friend is amazing. Two friends are just out of sight. Do this again. I'm going to say this again in this video. Hold up your hand and of all the people you know, who is a true friend of yours? And for the dozens of people I've done this to, I've only had one person get beyond five. Most are between three and four. Who is your truly your friend? Everybody. He didn't say some of the people. He didn't say most of the people. Most everybody. Some everybody. He said, and everybody want to reach inside your pockets. Who is really your friend? Okay. And then it goes, my hand's been counting money and it's hard to be the boss. Okay. Let me tell you something about also about life. Being in charge is never easy, and very, very, very few can pull it off. Take that lesson to yourself and understand that concept. I love that line. My hand's been counting money, and it's hard to be the boss. When you're the boss, you're the target of everybody. When you're in charge, you're the target of everybody. It's not easy because you are in charge of the money to a certain extent. Finally, it goes, just like a circle, I go back to where I'm from. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Who are you? That was done by The Who with their song, Who Are You? Mac Miller. And in a second, when I do the other video on Nipsey. 
Who are you? How do you define yourself? What makes you special? What makes you unique? Where are you from? What is your identity? How do you define yourself? Good and the bad. Just like a circle, I go back to where I'm from. People will always define you, but a lot of times they'll say, where did you grow up? How did you grow up? Did you grow up easy? Did you grow up hard? And that doesn't and it doesn't make a difference if you're hard or easy, quote, quote, what is your street cred, your street credibility? That's irrelevant to me. But how will you, how will you define growing up? Did you struggle? Were your parents supportive? Were, you, were things okay? Did you get extra help in, in becoming better as an athlete, as, as an academic person? Who, who, what was your religious beliefs? Who are you? I go back to where I'm from. Interesting how we talk. This is the last paragraph before the end. I go back to where I'm from. He was struggling to find his own identity, as we all do. And he goes, last chorus, he goes, well, everybody gather around. I'm still standing. Sit down. I am still here doing the best that I can to be me. And I'm closing with this. We're going to do, of course, more videos. But this album was very, very special in so many ways because he bared his soul. I am still here. Gather around. I'm still standing. Sit down. Sit down. I'm still here. I'm doing the best that I can to be me. All of our videos are about empowerment, about understanding yourself, that ultimately, God willing, you don't need someone like myself as a social worker. You can do it yourself. You can figure it out yourself. That's why we're moving into other areas, because we want to give people that self-empowerment to give you the confidence you can do things on your own. You're not as dumb or stupid or inept as you think you are, or as people around you have shared with you. You're more than the sum of you. The sum of you is more than you think. And that's the point I'm trying to get out with this last song that he talks about himself so much. Where the guy said, this album was a suicide note from Jason Wicks. Wow. Last comment. Mac, it's been an honor breaking down your music. An honor. I just hope I have done you justice. Rest in peace and God bless you on the next steps of your journey. Thank you.